Hey guys, welcome back! First week of qualification for World Series has taken place and we are pretty happy about the results so far. We do have some information today regarding how did it work out yet and how do we split the prize money or the prize pool for the World Series because right now we have around $10,600 and obviously most of the money will go towards the ranks or the players. But we still have some money left for um, streamers, for prediction contest, for a fine project or for the new patch which will come next year or in two years or three years we don't know yet so um, we've decided within the staff area how to split the money and how to show some gratitude from us for everyone around uh, map makers streamers etc so i will show you some results from the zero hour letter for now and then we will talk about the price split of the money so if you have a quick look here, we do have more than 1000 games already played within a single week via Zero Hour Ladder, which is insane. If you remember last year, we had issues with the Clan Wars uh, side regarding antivirus messages. We didn't have an admin last year. Um, the ELO system with the Zero Hour Ladder is far superior because if you're a good player and you beat another good player, you get rewarded more points but uh, with clan wars the issue was if you were a high tier player there was actually no need to play someone uh, weaker so dodging was a big uh, topic we don't have this issue right now xcal maraca mojo are the top three because the six masters are in pot one by default as well as the winner of the best of one tournament which is apparently lift truck and the last one will be in pot one uh, or the last one in pot one will be zero hour zero hour ladder rank one and because we have masters there right now mojo would qualify for pot one in the world series which means he could avoid a master early on and to be fair that's uh, pretty insane so uh, really close here 1832 points uh, thumbstep is a master as well so next one behind mojo right now is fen uh, grandma hamir is there uh, venom abuka stars revenger so a lot of games already played still more than three weeks to go so good luck get get this guy out of it because then you can qualify as player for pot one. These are not the exact numbers in the end because we probably will get some more donations and maybe we will split it a little bit more. This is just a calculation from us for you to consider what rank might win which money. We've also decided that there's a high possibility that we will award uh, rank 9 to 16 uh, with some prize money as well, which means if you win two sets from the first round, so you win the first round and you win the second round, you might be eligible to receive some money, which is uh, probably not too much money, but for some people, maybe $50 or $40 or $80, is not bad considering you just have to win two sets so uh, it's worth even more to qualify in rank or in pot one or maybe pot two to avoid early on clashes with masters experts and the biggest players we will hand out money to our streamers and we will how do i sh we will award our streamers because streamers in zero hour or in actually every game uh, are important. So if you're a streamer from the Arabic region or Russian or English, America, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which size your channel has. So if you cover the world series with quality streams, with quantity, you will most likely get something from us just as a thank you for the effort. So if you stream one single set in the World Series, you might not get anything. But if you stream around, I don't know, I'm just calling out a number, 10 streams and you do like 15 replay casts, you most likely will receive something. 
and it doesn't matter if you if your channel is as big as the, the ones from Dominator or Excal or Legionnaire or Stanislav. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a smaller streamer. If you put some effort into the World Series, you will receive the proper money for it. What about the map makers? Because this year we do have a lot of new maps uh, for the first time within the World Series and we want to hand out some money for them because new maps uh, are really appreciated and helpful to grow this community, to have new maps, to have new sets, to have uh, just new gameplay sometimes and it's just fantastic to see new maps because actually we don't want to play Tournament Desert all year just because we know it for 20 years now so we will decide within the staff area based on quality of the maps in the world series uh, based on maybe how many people played the map in the world series how many times did it get played uh, what's the opinion on the community and then we will hand out some money towards our map makers because we appreciate the effort to make maps to put them out there so Stanislav TV can check them for ranked and so on. So if you have good maps, you might get something. Dominator will do the draw probably the 2nd or 3rd of September after qualification. And then we will start the arrangement topic, obviously. And with the begin of the arrangement topic, you will have a nice looking grid. Thanks for, do for doing the artwork for us. And you will have a prediction topic or prediction contest uh, once again. And we will pay out $50 again for the prediction, just so you can make sure that if you bet pretty good on the outcomes of the games, you might win something. The topic regarding Fine Project and Stanislav TV for a big patch for Zero Hour is uh, discussed from, from in to out again and again. And I'm not going to continue this discussion here. We would like to see the results later on and we will see them. I'm pretty sure about it. And just as a reminder that we need Season for things like ranked maps, for the patch, for Gentool, obviously. We will pay out $100 towards Gentool project because Gentool is kind of his baby, I would say. He has to cover a server cost every year. We benefit a lot from Gentool due to um, our possibility to fight uh, cheaters in Zero Hour. There are cheaters still around, especially at Game Ranger. So $100 will go towards uh, Gentool and Fine project uh, just to cover some cost. And this actually might be everything we have to share right now. So three more weeks to qualify for World Series. You can use the Zero Hour Ladder. You can use Shatterbrick and Revora. It's absolutely fine. You might qualify for the World Series if you win like two or three matches via Revora or cnconline.net. Uh, and you might also get a better pot if you qualify there high. So... Stake is up, stake is high, let's go. Good luck, guys.